What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. The season of Rising Heroes is set to end in just a couple of weeks and Niantic has just released all of the dates for the upcoming events that we can expect starting in June. So let's go ahead and hop into the details. Bye. Bye. So I'm here on the official Pokemon Go blog and they updated it this morning with this article that says, trainers, now that the final community day of season 10 Rising Heroes is behind us, which when I first read this, because I did skim this before filming this video, I was like, hello, did I literally miss an entire community day? And I realized that it's not until the 21st and that I was not insane. So I don't know why they worded it like that. But remember, we do have Fennekin Community Day coming up on May 21st. So do not despair. You guys did not miss it either if that freaked you out like it freaked me out. But we'd like to share next season's Community Day dates. So they did release all of the dates for the Community Days that we can expect for basically the rest of summer, since these do go through August. So our first Community Day of the new season is gonna be on Saturday, June 10th. So like the first-ish week of June. Actually, technically that's like the second week of June because there's only seven days in a week. Good job, Diana, you can do math. And then Sunday, July 9th is gonna be a Community Day Classic. Sunday, July 30th is gonna be another Community Day. And then Sunday, August 13th will be the final Community Day for that new season. And what's cool about this is that supposedly since we are getting Fennekin Community Day for this month during this season, people are speculating that during the summer is when we might be getting our Froki Community Day, which means we might be able to get Shiny Greninja soon. They also said community days aren't the only events on the horizon. Here are the dates for additional in-game events coming next season, which this kind of seems a little bit light, but I mean, I guess that's kind of understandable considering that Go Fest is happening during the season. But it looks like we are gonna be getting only one event during the month of June, which is on Saturday, June 3rd. Another event on Saturday, July 22nd. And then of course, Saturday and Sunday, August 26th through the 27th is going to be the global Go Fest event. So realistically, besides go fest if you're not going to the in-person one and you're just participating in the global one we are only getting two events that are not community days during our new season so they better be worth our while because some of the events that we had during the season were a little lackluster if i'm being completely honest and then of course stay tuned for details about the june community day and beyond so now we have like a general idea of how this season is going to play out and i did want to quickly mention this little article on pokemon go hub because this was found by pokeminers that we might be getting a new asset in the game so I figured I would throw it in while I'm telling you guys all the tea about what's happening next season. Because this technically hasn't been released yet, but Pokeminers did find this data in the game. And it looks like we might be getting a new ball. So Pokemon Go Hub released this article that says, did Niantic tease a Master Ball launch on Twitter? We think so. Which this graphic, they edited themselves. But when Niantic tweeted out the graphic, this was a big question mark. So this graphic right here is technically a real graphic minus the actual Master Ball. So in the article, it says, Niantic has teased the introduction of the Master Ball on Twitter, or at least we think they did. Given the recent leaked text, images, and animations, these leaks were obtained via data mining performed by Pokeminers as usual. As you probably already know, the Master Ball is a special item in the Pokemon series known for its ability to capture any Pokemon without fail. Niantic has hidden away the Master Ball icon in the game file since forever, as earliest traces of it date back to the game's launch in 2016. So apparently this data has literally been in the game since its inception, but they just have never released it. And today we think that Niantic published a tweet that started the hype wave up once again. Here's the tweet that started it all. Be aware that this is an official Niantic tweet, so it is guaranteed that there is a new ball type coming. So even if they're not right about the Master Ball, we are getting some kind of new ball because they are not wrong. The actual official Pokemon Go Twitter page did tweet this out this morning at 6 a.m. And it literally says in development, and this is the actual graphic that I was talking about where it has a big question mark instead of the Master Ball that they edited in in their header. So whether it's a Master Ball or some other type of ball, we are getting a new ball in Pokemon Go. They then go on to say, although this tweet could be taken a number of different ways, we are fairly confident that it is Master Ball related. We were recently informed that the 2.69 update contained new Master Ball assets, including the 3D model of a container, an animated cutscene, and a bunch of textures to go along with it. We think it's very much Master Ball related, and we thank the good people at Pokeminers for the following image, which this is the image that they provided on their Twitter page, which these are the Master Ball containers that they were talking about. These things right here. 
and it looks like we are going to be getting some kind of little cutscene for the Master Ball. And apparently it is going to have something to do with Team Go Rocket, since there's obviously a bunch of Team Go Rocket assets as well, which I think that's kind of a cool idea to release a new ball. Because, you know, it gives it a little lore, like the evil team has it and we got to take it back from them. They then go on to say the news was met with a mix of excitement, skepticism, and criticism from the general community, as one would expect. And some trainers expressed that the Master Ball could improve their chances of capturing the rare Pokemon, such as the Galarian Bird, but a lot of players were quite skeptical, which the reason that people were skeptical is they were saying like, oh, it's probably going to be like one Pokeball, which would only mean that you could catch one Pokemon in it. And even if you did want to catch one of the Galarian Birds with it, then after you use it, it would basically be gone. And some people think that it would be kind of pointless to have a Master Ball because there's not really a Pokemon that's worth using it on. They finish off the article here by saying a significant number of trainers raised concerns about the potential implementation issues, reflecting a broader lack of confidence in Niantic's recent handling of game updates. We think that both viewpoints are valid. Who wouldn't want an easier way to get the Galarian Birds? But we see how having a Master Ball could go a bit off the rails. Where would it work? Does it work in raids? How many will we get? Do we only have one? Is it paywalled? Which some people were concerned about that as well. There are so many questions questions right now. In any case, what do you think? Are we getting a Master Ball or is this something else altogether? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, which you guys do the same. Which, I don't know, I mean, there's definitely a lot of evidence that supports that it is going to be a Master Ball, especially considering that Pokeminers did release that graphic with all the Master Ball assets. So it does seem pretty likely that it is going to be a Master Ball, but I think I'm one of those people that's kind of on the more apprehensive side and seeing how they're going to go about implementing something like a Master Ball. Because like the article mentioned, it definitely has the potential to go a little sideways. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think we're getting a Master Ball? How do you feel about it? And how do you feel about all of our future events that are coming in Pokemon Go? But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.